just coming here because uh, it's important for uh, progressive people, workers, okay. socialists and communists to celebrate May Day, which is the international day of workers throughout the world. So it's about international workers' solidarity? Then. That's right. Yeah. It's about the struggle against uh, capitalist exploitation. Over over 40,000 people. That's that's a, that's a, that's a count given by the United Nations. Right. Over 40,000 people being killed. Right. This demonstration. I mean, we've been doing that for over five years. Yeah. But this dem demonstration is just to, you know, the UN panel, expert panel, released a report. Yeah. You know, highlighting certain human rights issues in Sri Lanka. Right. So that that's what we the, the people feel. This is the time to come out. You want to you want to do more. For you know, for Tamil issue in Sri Lanka. The tigers are finished, are they now? Yeah. Well, they are. You know, Tamil tigers issue is not for the Tamils to answer. You know, that, that, that the Tamil struggle is, is, is ongoing. Yeah. It's still going. You know, Tamils not going to give up fighting yeah. until they get their freedom, their own country. You know.
um, for justice for Tamils. You know, what we're asking for now is the international community to have an independent international investigation on what happened um, on the last war. Yes, do you support a free Tamil state in Sri Lanka? Oh, of course I do. All the Tamils here we support a free state. Yeah. general strike. Why? Why are we allowing them to ride roughshod over workers' rights? The PCS and other unions are willing to coordinate general action. We should be supporting a 100% call for that general strike to bring down this government. And let me say elsewhere that the 5th of May for the local elections brings a unique opportunity to kick in the bollocks the Tories and the Liberal Democrats. Let's, let's make sure that we send a message out here today to the rest of the country that we want this Tory Lib Dem coalition decapitated in the local elections right around this country. Let's send those Tory and Lib Dem activists back home 
with their tails between their legs. When we started today, we started at Clerkenwell Green. And it's a fantastic testament to the working class labour movement in this country that in 1836, where Jamaica's slaves had a slave rebellion led by Paul Bogle and Moran Bay in 1865, the then Governor General of Jamaica and Mr. Governor Ear unleashed the British forces that killed 500 trans-African slaves on Jamaican plantations who tried another 300 for rebellion and found them guilty and had them hung who flogged another 600 including pregnant women but when the news reached back to the United Kingdom it was British workers who gathered at Clerkenwell Green calling for the governor of Jamaica to be tried for murder of the African slaves on that plantation. And that is the history of the Labour movement working hand in hand with those struggles across the globe. The workers, labourers, women and young people, this year we are celebrating 1st of May in a period of rebellion against the barbarism of capitalism and imperialism violence around the world. Workers, the imperialists and local business collaborators are rocking footsteps of the oppressed working people. They are afraid of working people and oppressed because they know the ch changing and devastating power, power of working class. The Europe bourgeoisie is trying to make the workers and laborers pay for their economic crisis by introducing racist and discriminatory policies. They are trying to bring natives and migrants against each other to awaken and divide the struggle. As natives and laborers, migrants, we must unite our strength against the capitalism. We must act together and grow our solidarity together against capitalism, exploitation and barbarism. Let us organize together and let us fight together. We learn with respect in front of all memories of the martyrs and creators of the 1st of May. Albert Parson, Eugene Spice, Adolf Fischer, George Engels. Long live 1st of May. Piji yet gulan, down with the imperialist attackers. Long live People's Fellowship. Workers and oppressed people of all around the countries unite. Long live proletarian internationalism. Britain is the sixth richest economy on the planet. What about collecting the tax? The 120 billion lost in uncollected tax and tax avoidance and tax evasion by the super rich and the FTSE 100 companies. We've got to sell the message. Every worker needs a trade union. We've got to support trade unionists taking action. We've got to defend our reps that are victimised. And last but not least, let's raise this opportunity to talk about what sort of world we want to live in, to put an alternative to the dictatorship of the international bond markets for decent public services, for a public funded health service and a welfare state for tax justice, for building the homes that people need, for investing in climate jobs, and most of all, showing the solidarity with our brothers and sisters, not just in Britain, but across the planet, fighting for their rights and fighting for justice and showing in practice that another world really is possible. Thanks for listening.